Jonathan Lee Bridges investigates. I am covering the Moscow, Idaho, Brian Kohlberger case. I really honestly believe that the Brian Kohlberger preliminary hearing will be delayed. Yes, delayed. It's not happening, people, on June 26, 2023. That is the scheduled date as of now. I think it's most certainly going to get delayed and or canceled if Brian Kohlberger waives it. But for now, I think it's getting delayed. And the reason being is discovery. Discovery. Ann Taylor, Brian Kohlberger's defense attorney, has now made three supplemental requests for discovery for the Brian Kohlberger case. She made the first one February 3rd, 2023. The second one March 24th, 2023. And then she made just the third one, May 3rd, 2023. And the first two supplemental ones that she filed, she is now filing a motion to compel saying that she has not received the discovery that she asked for on supplemental request number one and supplemental request number two. And she wants a hearing on the matter. And she's saying that Brian Kohlberger did not receive a lot of things from the body cam footage from his arrest to lab work in Pennsylvania, uh, numerous things, interviews with uh, uh, Moscow PD that Brian Kohlberger had, interrogations, and a lot more. She just filed another recent supplemental request now for DNA evidence, right? And the prosecution has 14 days, I think 14 days to respond to that request. So that takes it to the end of the month. What happens if the prosecution does not give the evidence for supplemental request number three, which means Ann Taylor will most likely file another motion to compel to produce evidence from supplemental request number three. Now we're talking into the month of June, right? And there's just no way at this point, logically, that Brian Kohlberger can receive all that discovery through the first three requests by June 26th. And I say that, and even if he received it maybe a couple weeks before June 26th, his lawyer is going to have to analyze that, all that data and records and inspect. That's why I believe at this point there will be no preliminary hearing on June 26th. Ann Taylor wants a hearing on the motion to compel. She's asking for a hearing on the matter on why the prosecution did not release to them evidence that they asked in supplemental request number one and two. So there's going to be a hearing on that one. When that could be, it could be, you know, slot slid in with the May 22nd status conference hearing that's that's going on with the non-dissemination of the gag order, or it could be another separate hearing. And then she just did the third request. And, you know, there could be a hearing on that matter if the prosecution doesn't give her all that DNA stuff. And they've been asking for a lot of records, not just a few records, but some of it's just basic stuff that he should have got notes and you know, uh, body cam footage of his arrest. He should be entitled to that. And it's okay, because I believe Brian Kohlberger is guilty. It's okay to believe that Brian Kohlberger is guilty, but also at the same time, want him to receive a fair trial, right? You don't want the prosecution to withhold evidence from him, right? Because that could be grounds down the, down the line to appeal, right? I personally think he's guilty, but I personally believe that he should have the right to this material and the right to any discovery evidence and also exculpatory evidence because that's how the rules are designed. That's how the court system is designed. If people don't like that process in that way, change it with your state legislature. Have the, uh, you know, the politicians change it. But for right now, Brian Kohlberger has the right to that, that information and he seems, as according to Ann Taylor, he hasn't received none of it yet. Not so that's my reason believing that the preliminary hearing will be delayed unless a grand jury comes in, into play, which I think that might be a possibility. And then there will be no preliminary hearing, but they still have to get Brian Kohlberger all that discovery, even if a grand jury gets convened um, and you know over goes over this preliminary hearing and a grand jury indictment, or Brian Kohlberger waives his preliminary hearing. But I don't think he's going to waive it if he hasn't received the discovery. You would think he would get his discovery first, then decide if he wants to waive his hearing. But so far, I think I think we're looking at an extension, people. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. I'm covering the Brian Kohlberger case at all angles, no stoned, left unturned. If you want extensive coverage of this case, newest developments, I'm the guy. 
and I plan to go to the preliminary hearing if they have it. Remains to be seen. We'll talk soon. Everyone stay tuned.